reality and the mind not your mind the mind let's talk about that for a little bit and this ties into a comment by a user named turkey sub 3000 and that's what I'm going to start doing from here on out is when I get comments from subscribers that ask questions and make points I'll use them to, as responses in videos so here's his comment. My reality is a creation of my mind. What if I don't believe that? What if I don't subscribe to your dogmatic judgment that it is so? Then I become the them in the us versus them equation. The beauty of reality is that there is no control and you have said this before. I miss the old sage who didn't cynically whine about the God debate and dogma as if it hasn't been beaten to death on his own channel and elsewhere on YouTube. You are a broken record and it's sad to watch. Turkey Sub 3000. What if you don't believe that reality is a creation of the mind? Nothing proper on the spiritual path should ever ask you to believe in it. Belief is reserved for things that cannot be experienced. This is something that I ask you to explore and find out for yourself. I have found it to be so. I know it to be so. It's not a dogmatic judgment. It's something that I have discovered to be the case through tests, experiments, and trial and error. If something is self-evident, it need not be believed in. It's already empirically the case. No belief is required. If you can come to realize this, then fine. And if not, then that's fine too. There's no us versus them equation going on with the Metasage. I'm not sure where that idea is derived from. And as far as control, whoever said there's no control in reality? Control is being exercised to one degree or another all the time. But the only control you need focus on is the one related to your own facilities. Lucidity brings more control over your reality, and your reality is the only reality you need worry about, for it's the only reality you can confirm to be a valid reality. What other point of reference do you have? Less lucidity means more control is surrendered to the illusion. When one is deluded by perceivables, their conditioned assumption is that source, control, power, and authority are found within the perceivables. And the perceivables include not just the environment, world, and other people, but also your own persona. Externalization is self-disempowerment. said it before and I'll say it again. Externalization is self-disempowerment. As far as a practical application to realize more lucidity, this can be exercised by remaining aware of the illusory content without indulging in attachments related to the content. Attachments can be further broken down to more simpler terms to mean desire for certain circumstances or desire to avoid certain circumstances. A desire for avoidance is still an attachment even though it's an attempt at pushing something away. So much of the crux of the matter is rest upon discovering that reality is projection of the mind, an imagined mentalization that becomes personified as an experience of embodiment in a physical reality. And this is why the old God versus no God crap is returned to again and again. It may be a broken record, 
but can it can never be stressed enough. It can never be emphasized enough. I mean, not so much in literal terms, but at least for me, the God versus no God theme is a dumbed down template for a deeper teaching that is trying to be conveyed, which, of course, is that source is found within and not somewhere out there. This is a foundational point. It can't ever be beaten to death because it's a fundamental misunderstanding that impedes progress of awakening. The sad part is, no matter how many different ways it can be shown, stressed, or pointed at, most people just cannot break their trance. No matter how many times it's demonstrated, people remain transfixed on illusion. You point them inwards and they go right back to the external. I understand it's difficult. Letting the waters return to stillness is hard when there's so many pretty fireworks to watch and roller coasters to ride. But hey, this is why I am here for you. This is what I am here to help assist you with. Don't worry. I won't give up on you.